Turning now to what the Target 12 investigators are working on this Thursday. As we've been reporting, the Attorney General's office is investigating a former North Kingstown High School basketball coach after former student athletes told Target 12 they were subjected to naked fat tests. Target 12 investigator Tim White joining us live in studio. And Tim, you had the chair of the state Republican Party in studio for Newsmakers potentially some political fallout from all this. Yeah, hi Brian and Kim, I, I can tell you, and as you can imagine, the situation in North Kingstown has generated a lot of anger, and I saw it firsthand covering an unusual Saturday morning school committee meeting there. Protesters were out in force to give committee members a piece of their mind following our reports on Aaron Thomas. Now, many of the people who showed up were from outside North Kingstown, but Sue Sienke, the chair of the state Republican Party, says the Thomas scandal has energized people who are thinking of running for school committee there. There are people angry at what's going on there. And out of that, candidates are coming forward and want to run for office. So, and we're really interested in school committee, town council, and certainly the state legislative office. And Tim, on this topic, you spoke with the lawyer representing Thomas yesterday, right. and he defended these so-called fat tests. Yeah, Kim, that's right. Thomas has not responded to our request for comment, so this was really the first glimpse at his side of the story. Attorney John McDonald told me Thomas was doing the test to help athletes achieve their goals and he had parental consent. Now I'll tell you that two parents we talked to say they never gave permission for their kids to be naked in a room behind closed doors with an educator and multiple physical therapists tell us it is unnecessary to be in a state of undress for these tests. McDonald also said his client will fully cooperate with the investigation. Other news we want to touch on while you hear your colleague Tolly Taylor has a report coming up. Some campaign finance violations issued now by the Board of Elections in Rhode Island. Yeah, Tolly found former, several former Rhode Island candidates were fined by the BOE for essentially failing to report certain transactions with their campaign finances. Now this comes in the wake of the Gordon Fox case. He is the former House Speaker who served prison time after pleading guilty in 2015 to federal charges that he used campaign money for personal gain. In the wake of that scandal, people may remember, campaign finance laws were changed requiring more stringent reporting standards and the violations issued earlier this month were a result of that. These are people who basically admitted their, their guilt to uh, violating campaign finance laws and agreed to settle uh, their cases. And Tolly's report will be coming up on 12 News at 6. Target 12 investigator Tim White, thanks for being here. Thank you.